welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, how are you? My name's Ali, and if you're coming back, oh, I missed you. It's so good to see you again. Today, we are cleaning out my closet. Ah! I cleaned out my closet like six months ago, but I'm already back to having over like 500 pieces. Oh my God. Yes, I have a little bit of a thrifting addiction. Anyway, I've got clothes stored in places they shouldn't even be stored. So we're gonna go through all my pieces, try almost everything on, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. Also, thank you so much for 90,000 subscribers. Oh my gosh, holy cannoli, cannoli, ah! If you aren't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button to join the beautiful family. And make sure you follow my Depop because that's where I will be posting all the clothes that I'm selling. And enough yip yapping from me. Let's get into the video. Enjoy. Okay, so let's assess the situation. So I have these two racks and then I have my closet with um, lots and lots of stuff. Here's like a 0.5 version of what it looks like. Jinx has even made a bed on my floor clothes. Aww. These racks are like insanely full. Like there is no space between the hangers really for like any movement. <laughs> even like the pants areas, like this is just a mess. And I had to like pull out the extenders on these clothing racks. Look, this shit is about to break, guys. <laughs> But don't you fret, that's not it. I also have this clothing rack in my living room. But by far the most concerning is all the clothes I just have like on the floor of my bedroom. It's like so bad that if you wanna exit my room, you gotta like go through a freaking maze to get out. So basically it's time for a purge. <sighs> So I guess I'm gonna start by bringing all the clothes on my floor to this empty space and then like organizing them by category. Okay. We got a lot here, so let's get into categorizing. I see the way we're going, So here's all the piles. We have sleep pants, skirts, short sleeve tops, long sleeve tops, tops without sleeves, corsets, lingerie, dresses, pants, jackets, and hoodies, and pullover sweaters. Okay, friends, I have my beautiful display rack here in which we're gonna put all the clothes on as we try them on, and we're gonna go by category. So we're gonna start with corsets. So I have these three corsets from the floor, and then I'm gonna move my corsets on this rack over to here. Okay, our first category is ready. But honestly, before we get into this madness, I feel like we gotta get a little treatsy. Editing Alley here. I forgot to make a transition, but we're starting with corsets. This is one of my favorite corsets. It literally does have a stain, but it just fits so like, oh my gosh, she was just like made for me. So definitely a keep. I just recently thrifted this corset, but it's too big. Like it definitely doesn't fit. I was talking about taking it to the tailor to like, ooh, 
like look at that. And I haven't done that yet, but you know, I am gonna take it to the tailor. Normally I'm like too lazy, but this is just so cute. We're gonna say tailor. This one's the same thing, too big. Do not wanna give up, so tailor. Also, I promise I'm not gonna tailor everything. Like, I just already knew that those two corsets are just, I cannot like let go of them. But if most things don't fit, I will sell them. I promise. Ugh, I used this corset for a corpse bride costume on Halloween and <laughs> keep. I've had this corset for like months, if not over a year now. And it's also always been a little too big, but now that I'm going to the tailor, maybe I can also tailor this one. Oh, it's just so majestic. Okay, also, I know it seems like I'm keeping literally all of my corsets, but that's just because, like, I love corsets and I don't really find a lot of new ones very often. So, like, it's just more likely that if I have a corset, I'm going to be keeping it. But don't worry, because there will be lots more rejections in other categories. Also, this is one of my favorite corsets. I ate it up. Okay, I've always kept this corset because she makes the girlies look good. But honestly, I never reach for it because it's like the TikTok Amazon corset. And I always just look at it and I'm like, mm. this is gonna be the first item that I pass on. <laughs> keep, keep. Mm. So see, the thing about this one is, is that it's cute but I don't know if it flatters me. Like, I love the ruffles, I love this, everything, but I just, like, why is there so much space here, but also, like, so much space here, and it doesn't, like, mm, this, like, mid-level crop, just, like, what does not flatter. I normally like wearing low-rise, and this is just, like, not doing it for me, but even if I wore, like, high-rise, I don't know. <laughs> This one is an indecision, so comment down below if you think I should keep or sell this corset. Jackie Laura vibes, keep. In my last closet clean out, I kept this corset, but... <laughs> Girl, like, the wavy lumpiness is, like, not the move. <laughs> sell. Keep. This one's so cute, but way too big, so sell. Another favorite of mine, keep. Oh, this corset always makes me feel like a little cottage core. Very like, mm, she's just so pretty. Keep. <laughs> Bruh. <sighs> Putting on these corsets is no joke. <laughs> oh, another ethereal one to keep. You know, when I bought this one, I tried to convince myself that I could be a polka dot girly. <sighs> I can't be a polka dot girly. It's not for me. So, of course, we gotta keep the Gwen from Total Drama Island cosplay corset. <laughs> Lastly, with my corsets, I keep this accessory, and y'all are probably like, what the frick is this? Like a vampire <laughs> cape top thing? I feel like that's what this is giving. <laughs> but it's actually a harness. Look at that. Cool, right? I honestly don't wear it as much as I should, but it's pretty cool. So keep. Oh my god, I'm intimidated. <laughs> I have so much lingerie, it's actually kind of scary. But can we admire how pretty this rack is? Like... So these were the pieces that were on the floor, and these were what was on my rack over there. So this is the new additions to the family. So we'll try these on first, and then go into the older stuff. This is one of my favorite pieces I've ever owned. I literally did one of my cutest outfits with it the other day, wore it to a little vintage shop, and I just felt like the prettiest little coquette princess ever, so definitely keep. I also really like this. It's giving Gwen vibes again. I just need to figure out a bra to wear with it, but I'm a keep. I love this, just uh, the blue and blue. <laughs> Keeper. I don't like the fit of this one, so sell. So. Also just not the biggest fan of this one. I feel like this one and the last one would be great for like a bride-to-be. <gasps> Imagine bachelorette night like wearing one of these. Oh <laughs> yeah, that's a sleigh. But I'm painfully single. Okay, not painfully, I actually love the singlehood, but I'm not gonna be standing reciting my vows anytime soon. So what are you bride-to-be's cop please? I got these little Victoria's Secret slips pretty recently and I feel like they're just really simple and I don't think I would wear them as much as I thought I originally would, but again, the blue on blue, we'll keep the blue, sell the pink. It's like a little compromise. I'm a master at making decisions. <laughs> Two seconds later. 
Oh my god, I can't decide. Bruh. Okay, here's the thing. I think this is just like the most gorgeous slip ever. But I did a little video styling it on my TikTok and people were like, girl, that's too big. Like, please. And I was like, shoot, I don't know. Like, is it too big? Ah, uh, so gorgeous. But like, it doesn't really hug me. But like, does it need to hug me? Like, why does it need to hug me? Like, why can't I just look like a beautiful sack, you know? Ah. Uh, Okay, y'all's turn to help me out again. Put in the comments if I should keep or sell this. Ah, oh, this is also so gorgeous, but it's like major gaping right there. <laughs> so I have to give it up. So sad, but it's so beautiful. It'll bless someone else. I got so much new blue lingerie that I'm looking at these two old ones and I just wanna pick one. And this is one of my favorites. Like girl, this is so cute. So keep and sell. This was one of the like first lingerie tops I ever thrifted. And I keep keeping it every time I clean my closet out, but honestly, it doesn't flatter me. So sell. I also had the same problem with this top, which I always said, oh, I'll wear and then <laughs> never have worn, I think like once in my life. So, so. I love the way this one fits. Keep. Oh, I remember my last closet clean out. This is one of my newest lingerie pieces. And I was like, so obsessed with it. I wore it like everywhere. Oh, the time flies. But it's still really cute. So let's keep. This one I used once to like layer over another lingerie slip, but I have not worn it since. And honestly, I think she needs to go. The only reason I couldn't let go of her last time was because I got so many compliments on that one outfit I made with it. But girl, I haven't worn it since. So let's be realistic. I am in love with all three of these and I don't wanna give any of them up. So keep all of them. I'm gonna keep both of these, but I'm actually gonna sell this one, which is really sad because I wore it in my glow up video. Like it was my little glow up outfit. But honestly, now that I look at it, like she's so long and it's a little bit big. <laughs> okay, so heartbroken. Okay, anyway, we're gonna sell. I love keeping this one around for Valentine's Day. Like, it's so camp, but so cute. Wait, I just realized, like, all three of these are pretty much the same style. Victoria's Secret really said, let's make this in every single color combination. Hmm. <laughs> Now that I think about it, maybe I don't want the blue one. It's just so basic. Like, I feel like I have like more fun things. This one I actually know is just like loose on me. So do I even want the pink one? Oh my gosh, now I'm overthinking. Okay guys, again, help me make a verdict. I feel like I'm gonna keep the pink one because this was actually like one of my very first thrifted pieces and specifically thrifted lingerie pieces. So it was like kind of sentimental, but I might give these two away. Comment which of these three I should keep or if I should keep any of them or if I should keep all of them or if I should burn them to dust in my backyard. I don't know, just let a girl know. This is the lingerie dress that I went to that famous musician's show in. <laughs> if you didn't listen to my story time. But yeah, this famous musician like took me backstage and then Loki fell in love with me and it's a whole thing. But this is the outfit I was wearing, so definitely gonna keep. So I used to love this lingerie slip. I've had this one for ages, but I don't know. For some reason, it's giving gift box to me right now present under the Christmas tree, but like not in a cute way, kind of in like a camp, not cute way. Mm. I'm sorry, I'm just in shock because this used to be like one of my favorite pieces, but I'm growing up, my tastes are changing, I'm becoming a new woman. Someone else will love it. Keep like the blue on the blue. <gasps> oh my gosh, y'all, I might have to wear this one out tonight. And also keep. Ugh, this also used to be one of my favorites. I wore it so, so much in like spring of 2022, but she's just not hitting the same anymore. Like I'm not getting that fix. So sell. I don't know why, but I really love this one. It just makes me feel like I'm on like a little farm with like goats and chickens and cows and I don't know. I gotta keep it. I gotta keep it. This is the dress I used for the corpse bright outfit and ugh. 
she fits a girl well so I'm gonna keep her. Lastly, I have these two lingerie dresses. This one, someone at the thrift store like gave me, like this older woman like just came up to me and tapped me on the shoulder and like handed this to me. And I just kept it because I was like, that's so sweet. Like she was thinking of me and it was just like a nice little memorabilia. I never wear it, but oh, I don't know. I'm scenty, I feel like I can't give it up. And then this one is my most expensive find. It's a Christian Dior slip, like Dior, Dior, like read that, Dior, 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 Dior. Again, just another keep. Good morning, y'all. It's day two of cleaning out my closet. We're gonna get into mini dresses next. But first, we gotta fuel ourselves, get that energy, get ready to make the hard decisions of what stays and what goes. So I got me some lunch. Drum roll, please. Oh, oh can you see that? It's lovely canes. If you had not had Cain's chicken, you have not lived, okay? This stuff is from the heavens. Anywho, I'm gonna eat lunch, fuel myself, and then we're gonna get back into it. My belly is full. <laughs> and now we can get into mini dresses. I totally forgot about this dress. I haven't worn it in a long time, but I love the way it fits me. I just like, feel weird about wearing it in winter because it's so like summer beach vacation like, tropical moment but we'll keep her for the summer months ah uh, one of my favorite pieces in my closet i remember when i thrifted this i was like not sure about it because i was like is it giving like 2014 coachella with like the lace and stuff but i'm so glad i took a chance because i wear this like all the time i just it makes me feel so I love it. I'm just a sucker for white dresses and this one is too cute as well. Also, this is vintage Abercrombie and Fitch. So every time I wear this, I just feel like I'm living my dream of being a teenager in 2012, even though I was 11, but I wanted to be an a &F girl so badly and <laughs> now's my chance. <laughs> In the summer, this is like my go-to dress if I'm just trying to throw something on really fast. I love it for that kind of vibe. Like she's comfy, she's flowy, like a little summer dress moment in the back, like girl. It's nothing special, but again, it's that dress for when I'm like, ah, ah, I need to go run errands, what do I throw on? And it's just like, ah. Uh, I used to love this dress because I just love this upper part like I think all the bows and just like this shape is really interesting it's really flattering up here I don't know I feel like I need to get picky I need to make more space in my closet so I gotta be real like this just isn't the most flattering cut below the chest and it's kind of long it's a little bit hard to say this but I think I'm gonna sell this I literally forgot about this dress oh my gosh it's so Pretty. It reminds me of that TikTok audio that's like, ring, hello. Yeah, oh, God. <laughs> okay, that was an awful rendition, but definite cape. The pattern of this is pretty, but it's just kind of like, blah. Like, I have better, so sad. This is my grad dress, and it's so adorable. I literally love it, and it's like the most comfy thing on earth. So cute. This is doing something weird to my tatas. Um, <laughs> so I thrifted these two floral dresses on the same day and they're both just so baby doll darling. Gotta keep the cotton candy moment. I always love to give this dress a little spotlight because look how unique it is. Like y'all, there's groceries. <gasps> on this dress like look how cute got a little pineapple bananas a carrot some lettuce like <laughs> i got the whole grocery store on me y'all already know i'll be pulling up to the local market or grocery store in my little dress like <laughs> i came dressed for the occasion keep keep i used to really love this dress because i just thought it was so retro and i was like wow i really feel like i'm at like a little diner or like one of those like drive-in rollerblading restaurant like kind of like sonic used to be you know like the little girls on the rollerblades like i felt like that when i wore this dress but honestly did i ever really like it because <laughs> i feel like i would put this on and be like mm -hmm. 
but told myself I liked it. But I just can't get behind the green, honestly. Like it's just too neon-y. So we're gonna let go of the dream and sell. Sell. Ah. Oh. This dress used to have a little heart pendant that was like right in the middle there. Um, but then I put the dress in the washer Bruh. like an idiot and it broke off. Now it's heartless, but it's still like so cute for like a Y2K club event. Like that's so specific, but like this would slay at something like that. So I kind of want to like keep it, but also like I can't really move in it because like this is like barely any fabric. So... I'm kind of like wobbly. <laughs> this is like one of those items where you're just like, I don't want to give it up, but like, I really should, but like, I really don't want to, but like, ah, I'm deferring it to y'all. <laughs> Make my job a little easier. Comment below if I should keep this pink dress. Yeah, girl, too big. So my two black and red dresses are both keeps. This is a nice dress. Like, it's pretty. It's cute. Like, it really is nice. But for some reason, it just doesn't bring me, like, you know? That's weird. Anyway, I guess I'll sell. I guess. Yeah. I guess. Sell. Okay. My little Mazzy Star moment. I like wearing this dress to work. So, keep. One of my first Goodwill bins finds. Keep. Ugh, so pretty. Keep. Now, I saved the LBDs for last because I have so I think little black dresses are like my personal heroine. <laughs> I love a cute little LBD, but here's the thing. I already know I want to keep all seven of them. <laughs> so there's really no need to try them on, but I love y'all. So I'm going to do a little montage of my seven little black dresses. Roll the cameras. left to confide <laughs> that was fun next on the list is midi dresses oh, this dress just makes me feel like sunshine keep i only want to keep one of these and since my hair is blue i feel like we keep the blue i'm getting really picky because my dress rack is like stocked to the brim and i really need to let go of dresses so i only want to keep one of these as well and i think i'm going to keep this one because i already know this one i don't really like the way it hugs my body so uh, even though this one is absolutely gorgeous i honestly love it we're gonna sell okay these two dresses are also very similar so a or b on the rack, I honestly was thinking A, but now I'm like not sure. Um, comment down below A or B or just keep both. Let a girl know. This is super pretty, but honestly, it could fit someone else probably better. So sell. So. Keep. Keep. This one's giving like a little old timey vibe, which I love. So keep. And lastly, I have this vest, jean jacket thing, shawl, I don't know. <laughs> It looks crazy as heck with my sweats and little tank, but trust me, it can be styled well, so keep. Last of the dresses is maxi dresses. I have three white maxi dresses. And yes, I do wear them all, and no, I don't need to try them on to know that these gotta all stay in the rotation. Oh, this dress is so pretty. It's making me want summer to be back again already. Oh, this is so pretty, but like, I don't really know where I would wear it. And it kind of doesn't work with my tatas. So, shall. Oh, y'all, I love this dress. Like, look at that back. That is just like breathtaking. But I have never worn this and I've had it for months, like since before my last closet clean out. But I just can't figure out the bra situation because of the open back and like, Wearing a bra with this would just like ruin that. They need a bra. So I think I have to sell this, which I'm screaming because it's actually so gorgeous and I've always had like dreams of wearing it, but I just know I'm not going to. I gotta be real with myself, guys, okay. Oh, this dress is also so pretty. Like, oh, ooh, ooh. should I keep this one? See, this one I can figure out a bra situation with, but even then, like it, is it just, I'm just trying to like make more space on my dress rack. So I'm being really picky right now, guys. <sighs> Honestly, 
I'm gonna sell. I don't know if that's the right decision, but we're going for it. Uh, I eat this dress up. It's one of my favorite pieces I own. <laughs> Definitely keep. I remember finding this dress at the thrift and I just like fell so in love. Like it's just so elegant and vampy. Keep. Also, I'm not gonna try this on because I know it looks gorgeous and I know if I try it on, I'm gonna wanna keep it. But I literally have nowhere to wear this to. Like, girl, my prom was five years ago. It's time for her to go. She's pretty, but goodbye. Mm. Keep. <laughs> keep. Ugh, such a keep. No clue where I'd wear this, but keep. If anyone wants to invite me on some like space or cholesterol, not cholesterol, celestial date. Um, hit me up because I got the fit for it. Oh my gosh, I also have no idea where I'm gonna wear this, but I will find an event. <laughs> this dress is like so cool. And if I had like an opening of an art museum or something to attend, like this is what I would wear. And it's so flattering. Like, oh my, I just love, 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 but where am i wearing this guys like it takes up a lot of space because it has tool at the bottom so i just oh. i'm like holding out for that one time i have a really like eccentric eclectic kind of event to attend but also like i'm just a regular schmegular gal like i'm not gonna have that happen so i think you need to give this away Ugh. And then lastly, I have these two night robes and I'm only gonna keep one. And I think I like the pink better. It's just more dramatic, you know? Let's do it. Now these are all my rompers and overalls and my one jumpsuit. But I know I want to keep them all because I wear like all of these constantly. So I'm not gonna try them on in the interest of time, but here are a few pictures of these on. They're all so cute, y'all. Honestly, love a good romper. Like they're so girly, they're so flirty, they're so fun. And I love them and we're gonna keep them. It's time to get into tops. And we'll be starting with sleeveless tops, which <laughs> yes, I have many. So I'm probably not gonna try on all of these because it is literally like 58 items. But don't worry, I'll give you a good show of quite a few of them. This first one is just a scarf that I used to honestly wear a lot. Like I would just tie it like that, make it like a little bra top thing, whatever. But I haven't done it in a long time and I just don't think it's my vibe anymore. So we're gonna sell. Also, I'll probably be selling a lot in this section because I do have 58 sleeveless items and y'all saw my closet. <laughs> We gotta make more room for other thrifted stuff in the future. So yeah, let's get ready to get rid of a lot. Speaking of getting rid of items, I think I'm gonna get rid of this because I got it for 4th of July and then I realized I don't really be celebrating 4th of July like that. Like I kind of just sit at home and listen to the fireworks through my window. So, <laughs> so really I have no reason to have this. So, so, uh, this is a favorite. I wear it quite often, very Y2K, I'm gonna keep. Oh, this top is so cute. I love it, keep. I always love wearing this little crop with like a long flowy skirt. It's just a oh, pure cottage core vibe. I love it. I have these two sports bras that I used to wear as like non-sports bras. Like I literally wore this with slacks once and thought it looked so cool, which I still stand by it. Low key, I do think it's old school. Anyway, I never wear them anymore, but I've been trying to go on more walks. So maybe I'll wear them for their intended purpose as actual sports bras. So keep but move to my sports collection. Okay, and then I also have this little crop top, which like, oh my gosh, she's cute. And like, okay, I remember I got her and then she was too big, so I had to sew her. And then I guess I just never like tried her on after I sewed her, cause I've never worn this out, but like, she's a cute club top. Me acting like I go to the club when I've literally been to the club once in my life. <laughs> I don't know, like, she's just, she's really serving. So I guess I just will keep her and we'll have to remind myself that I own her. This is like a good lounging top, so I'm gonna keep, but I'm gonna sell or maybe just donate this cut little tank thing. Yeah, no, sell. 
Oh, I remember I got this at Topshop in like 2013. It's honestly still kind of cute, but only kind of. And I always get self-conscious about how my boobs look in it. So, oh, look at this. It's like one of my oldest pieces, so it's breaking my heart. But it's fine. It's a new era. So, another really cute top for cottage core look. So keep. Oh my gosh, I always forget how cute this is for lounging. I got this at Brandy Melville also in like 2013. And yeah, I just, I can't let her go. She's like Tumblr era. She like takes me back, you know? And very cute for lounging, very comfy. So <laughs> keep. This is really cute and really flattering, but it always takes me like 15 minutes to put on because of all the strappies. And it's kind of just like not my aesthetic anymore. So I'm gonna sell. I call this my Hannah Montana vest and I love it, keep. But I'm gonna give away this brown crop top cause I honestly feel bad. I just thrifted this and in the video I was like, I'm not sure if I should get this cause I don't really like it that much. And then I got it anyway and now I'm selling it and I've never worn it. Ugh. Sometimes we make bad decisions guys, it's okay. I almost sold this one in my last closet clean out but I didn't and I'm really glad I kept it because I wear this actually a lot and it's super cute and I'm gonna keep it again. As for this top, I love the pattern and like the lace and everything, but the fit is just weird that I never know what to wear on the bottoms. Like, don't pants look weird? Like, even if they were jeans? But then like I wore like a A-line skirt and that also just like looked weird because it looked like layered puffiness and I, I just don't know what to wear on bottom. So for that reason, I'm like tempted to give it away. I'm really sad about that. Okay, comment, comment if there's something you could see me wearing with this and if there's good ideas, I'll keep it. And if I don't see any good ideas in the comments, I'll sell it. I love all three of these little spaghetti strap tanks for when I just don't wanna wear a bra, but I still wanna look good. Like y'all saw me wearing this one earlier in this video. They're cute, gonna keep all three. Why does this top remind me of like a swamp? <laughs> Anyway, it's cute, so keep. <laughs> These are another three tops that just like flatter me well and are comfy for when I'm lazy and just wanna be comfortable. So keeping all three. This is like a really cute print, but it just doesn't like fit me in the way I want it to. It's too so sell. I said I was gonna be getting rid of a lot and I kind of feel like I'm not getting rid of a lot. But like, ugh, I want to keep all three of these white tanks. Like, I just can't give any of them up. I can't. I can't. Okay. So we're going to keep them all. We'll get rid of something else. That's fine. Uh, the strawberry shortcake tank is so cute, but I always would have to wear a bra with it. Like, I just don't like how it looks without the bra. And it's just like low and it doesn't really like fit. Like, it needs to be tighter. I actually feel like someone else would really, really love this. And I want to bless them with that since it doesn't bring me immense joy, even though I want it to. Anyway, so... I have so many black tanks and I do think I actually need to get rid of some, which is hard because I anticipated not getting rid of any of them, but we're gonna do it. And we're gonna start with this one because when I thrifted this, I thought this was gonna be like my new, I wear this twice a week type top, but it's stretched out and I honestly hate that. I don't like the way my boobs look in it. And I just, I've never actually worn it out. So as crazy as this sounds to me, because it's like in my head, my dream top, I'm gonna sell it. I thrifted this one recently and honestly, I thought I was gonna love it, but I tried to style it the other day and it just like didn't work on how to change into something else. It's just not worthy of the limited space I have in my closet. So, so. The rest of the black tanks I'm gonna keep along with this black vest, which is one of my favorite pieces. Oh, uh, so rock star, so unique, so cool. Just love. Also an iconic piece. Oh, this is a guest top and I'm just, I die and go to heaven every time I put this top on, so keep. Oh my gosh, y'all, it literally just broke. It just broke, it just broke, it just broke, it just broke. I don't know what to do, I don't know how to fix this. Okay, there has to be some way. I'm still not letting go of her, okay, just, ah, my luck. I never wear this, so. This is cute and I styled it really well once, but honestly, it's too big. I had to tie it in the back. So for interest of space, so. I really have mixed feelings about this piece. I've worn it a few times, but there's also a lot of times I put it on and then I'm just like, no, honestly, let's sell. 
I never wear this. I always thought, oh, it's so cool and like unique and like tomboy, like I can be my tomboy era. And then I put it on and I'm like, oh, it's too masculine. <clears throat> I guess I don't really want to be in my tomboy era. Um, so. Honestly, guys, I'm pretty proud. I've said no to a lot of things, but I'm gonna say yes to this. It's so picnic vibe. When I thrifted this, I really wanted to like it, but it's too big, so sell, keep, and keep, keep, but sell both of these. This is so pretty, keep. I'm gonna keep this, and I'm gonna keep this, which I haven't worn yet, but honestly, it's so cool. Like, she is gonna get worn as soon as possible. Like, what? She's so unique. I don't know why I haven't worn her yet. This is cool, but sell. I was gonna say sell, but honestly, keep. And then lastly, I'm gonna keep both of these tanks. Well, I've pretty much lost light outside. So we're gonna have to stop for now and pick it up on day three. See you in like one millisecond. It's day three and we're starting with short sleeve tops. So both of these are like the perfect length. I feel like they're just really flattering. So keep both. This is too basic. This little tie top is unique. So keep and so. I love this top. Like every time I see it in my closet, it just sparks so much joy because it makes me feel like a little Y2K cheerleader. Like I can do a flip right now. Watch me. Actually, don't watch me because I can't do a flip. But wearing this shirt makes me feel like I can do a flip. You know, like I'm captain of the cheer squad. Put me on. Um, so definitely keep, but this on the other hand does not spark joy when I see it in my closet because it is so tight. Like I'm like trying to like put it on and then I'm just like, no, like I see it in my closet and I'm like, I don't feel like struggling for two and a half minutes today to put this top on. So, so. <sighs> I used to love this top and wear it literally all the time. Same with these two, but I don't think I've actually worn any of these three in like over a year. So I'm gonna sell all three. Yeah. Wait, I forgot how much I love this top. Definitely keep. I've only worn this top once and the day that I wore it, this woman told me she thought I was 12 years old. Oh my God. <laughs> Bye. But it's so cute, so I don't care. It's fine. I can be 12. It works. <laughs> this might be my favorite shirt that I own at the moment. Like, if I could wear this every day, I would. Trust me. Like, hashtag dill pickle squad. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, ugh. She's so 2012 YouTube humor, and I just love her. And I don't really even eat dill pickles like that. Bruh. But I stay true to the squad. This shirt is giving 10-year-old boy on the other hand, which... I don't know why I'm saying that like it's a bad thing because this gives 10 year old boy, but for some reason like this is giving and this is just like not for my vibe, so so. Ugh, this graphic makes me feel so badass. Keep. I am heavily obsessed with both of these brown little baby tees. They're just so cute with like low rise jeans or like a baggy pair of jeans. Ugh, so good for the days I want to dress like a skater boy, you know? Keep. I love this top in theory, but I just can never seem to actually figure out how to wear it well. So I'm gonna sell. Keep. Uh, the BB tops always just give such Y2K mom. Like, I'm not a MILF yet, but I don't know. I can channel that Y2K mom vibe, you know? But I only wanna keep one of my BB tops and I think I prefer this one. So we're gonna sell this one. I only wanna keep one of these and I think I prefer this one cause surf like a girl, like, I just love anything like a girl. Blank like a girl, I'm eating that phrase up, you know? So let's keep this one and sell. Oh, sorry, wait, what'd you say? What'd you say? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What the shirt says. Keep. All three of these are very like cute dainty tops that I can either wear to work or outside of work. So I thrive off of these, keeping all of them, all of them. I thrifted this recently. So this is actually the first time I'm putting it on and I'm just not really feeling it. So, so. It's so funny how many items I'm finding that I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot how cute that was. <laughs> but like, this is one keep and logged in my memory that I have this and I like it. <laughs> 
<laughs> I have mixed feelings about this top because I really do like the way it lays and sits and it's giving that kind of like Tumblr-ish vibe. But then the graphic, I'm like, is that just giving Forever 21? Like, I don't know. But I think I'm leaning towards keep, so we'll keep. I also have mixed feelings about this one because I really liked it until I goofed it and cut these holes that just do not give the distressed vibe I was going for. It's a tragedy I goofed it, but honestly, I don't think I'll wear this. So sell or maybe even donate. I'm, I don't I don't know. I wore this top in my last video, the tattoo vlog. Super cute, keep. I also love these two ones that are very similar. Yeah, we're gonna keep all three. So I have too many graphic skater style shirts that I don't get enough use out of. So we're gonna pare it down. I do really like this one. This is like one of the longest thrifted pieces I have, so keep. I also love these skulls, so keep. The red is just like not doing it for me. So we're gonna sell. This one too, like it's just kind of giving Walmart vibe to me for some reason, so sell. I used to love this Sublime one and I love Sublime. Y'all know I love Sublime. Like I got my whole freaking Nirvana Sublime tattoo merger thing, but I don't like the material of this. Like it's too soft and it also kind of looks like Walmart, so sell. And then uh, this blue is just a lot. Like I love blue obviously because my hair is blue, but I don't know, I never reach for it, so so. Wow, wow, girl, we really pared that down. <laughs> I'm proud, we're making space for new stuff, guys. I love this Beatles shirt, definitely keep. And then the last item I have is my <laughs> Carnival's jersey that I wore for my 23rd birthday. If you didn't see my iconic birthday pictures, I did a photo shoot theme to 23 when Michael made it, Miley Cyrus, and I wore this, but she's never getting worn again, let's be honest. So sell, sell the wizard jersey. I was going to grab the long sleeve tops and then I found um, a few more short sleeve tops. So we'll go through those quickly. So I'm gonna keep these two because I like the length and fit. And this one was also a gift from a friend, but I'm gonna sell these three. And these two in particular, because although I love the graphics of both of these, like so sick, the length is just a little not oversized enough, but not fitted enough. So it just kind of looks awkward in my opinion. So sell these three. The last top category is long sleeve tops. Starting with this one, which I'm gonna sell cause I've had it as a long time for a basic, but I haven't worn it in a long time as well. So sell. See, when I originally bought this, I thought it was super cute, but now every time I put it on, I'm just like, ah, it's a little of a jump scare. It's just so busy. And I don't think that matches my vibe. So sell. I actually really like the style of this, but this tan color, it just looks weird to me because it's too like close in skin color to my actual skin. It looks like I'm naked, but I like tattooed guest jeans on my body. I don't know, just sell. And I'm also gonna sell this because I really like it, but it's a little wide if you can like tell. So it just doesn't lay the way I want it to. So sell. I love Betty Boop and I was talking about like cutting this to be over the shoulder, but honestly, I don't, I don't wanna do that. I just wanna sell it. So crazy enough, sell. I think this top is so cute with like the right little bralette, so cute. I love this top, it flatters me so well and every time I wear it, I get so many compliments. So definitely keep. Mm. I also love this top, I also think it's super flattering. <laughs> Keep. Oh, I used to love this top, but now I feel like it's just giving 2016 Thanksgiving, like this with a plaid skirt. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm back in my living room when I was 15 years old again. <laughs> But yeah, the cutouts are just not doing it for me, so sell. So. I kept this because I was like, oh, it's like fancy, but like still like kind of scandy. So like it could be like for the right event. And now I'm thinking about it, what event would I want to look fancy but scandalous at? Like I cannot wear this to a work event, but like, if I want to look scandalous, I don't want to be wearing something that looks like a blouse. I don't know. So sell. I feel like as we go through the categories, I'm getting more comfortable and confident in saying sell because I want to say keep, but honestly, 
So, I've never worn this, so this is like a crazy top, but I do honestly love it, so keep. Randomly, this is one of my favorite tops, um, so keep. I recently styled this top in a really crazy and weird way, and honestly, <laughs> I loved it, so keep. Keep, 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 so. Hi friends, Editing Allie here. So this video is so long at this point, so I'm gonna cut it here and make a part two. So make sure you're subscribed and have my notification bell on so you can see when part two comes out with all the bottoms and jackets and shoes I still have to go through. If you made it this far, comment a dress emoji because let's be real, the dress emoji is the cutest clothing emoji. If you're interested in seeing what I'm doing more on a daily basis or getting more fashion inspo, you can follow my socials here. I love you all so much. I'll see you in part two. Bye.